Finger Aware Shortcuts is an interaction technique to expand and augment keyboard shortcuts. By detecting which hand and finger are pressing a key and whether the hand posture is open or closed, a key press can have multiple command mappings. For example, pressing G with the left index finger and open hand simply enters a letter G, but when the hand is closed, pressing G with the index finger means go to line, and when pressed with the right hand, the same G key could mean go to page, go to class, grab, or gap, depending on which finger and what posture is used. We developed a computer vision algorithm to identify fingers and hands when pressing keyboard keys. The hands are captured by a built-in laptop camera and a reflector. The system tracks the location of the keyboard to rectify it. Hands and fingers are tracked using contour analysis, heuristic rules, and the $1 recognizer. We use this system to demonstrate a range of applications and mappings. In Photoshop, for example, pressing O with the right thumb and closed hand opens a file. Pressing B with the index and open hand decreases brightness, and pressing B with the middle finger increases brightness. Pressing C with the index finger decreases contrast, and middle finger increases contrast. And pressing O with the index and middle fingers does the same for opacity. Pressing N with a closed right index finger creates a new layer, and pressing B with a closed left thumb activates the brush tool. The brush hue can be adjusted by pressing H with the left index and middle fingers. The brush saturation by pressing S with the left index and middle fingers and the brush brightness by pressing B with the left index and middle fingers. Note how the B key has been overloaded in multiple ways. The brush size can also be increased and decreased by pressing S using the left index and little fingers with a closed hand. Another example is a word processor. Here, pressing H with an open left hand chooses different heading styles. Heading 1 by pressing with the left index finger. Heading 2 by pressing with the middle finger. Heading 3 by pressing with the ring finger. And normal text by pressing with a closed thumb. Text size is increased or decreased by pressing S with closed left index and little fingers. Standard keyboard shortcuts can be accessed using the right closed thumb like a command modifier key. Using the closed thumb to press B means bold, pressing I means italic, pressing U means underline, and pressing C and V means copy and paste. We chose fingers based on a formative study testing different finger and hand posture combinations. The task required participants to press a key using a specific finger and hand posture, then complete a reference task of typing or pointing, then press the key again with the same finger and posture. We also compared finger-aware shortcuts to three variations of standard shortcuts. This required participants to first complete a typing or pointing reference task, then press a corresponding shortcut key or finger-aware shortcut for a prompted word. They could view a cheat sheet with all mappings. In addition to exploring finger-to-key mappings, we also experimented with dynamic postures. This could provide continuous input during a shortcut key press, like adjusting colors with thumb movement while pressing R, G, or B. This technique could also provide discretized input for a pie menu. Another idea we've explored is pressing keys with more than one finger at the same time. For example, pressing L with two fingers to log out. See our paper for more information and experiment results.